Hey everybody, good morning. So I just thought I'd pick up my camera and do a day in the life. Also, I literally just woke up, so that's why I look super pale and tired. So it's 8 a.m. and I'm going to my first laser appointment and I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I've never done it before, but everyone who I talk to loves it, so. Wearing this empathy sweater we saw them at Mayfair. These little booty shorts, they're from Tilly's and someone told me to wear loose shorts, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm wearing my Uggs. And this is wrinkled, but whatever. I wear it literally every day. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this vitamin C serum. It makes your skin so freaking soft. I'm obsessed with it. So I just mix it with my Natrium Nemo Nemo Vitamin. Don't know how to say that still. A couple pumps of this. This literally, I don't even know what it, it just, it's so soft. It doesn't feel oily, it's just, just refreshing. And it makes your skin so freaking soft. And then my skin just looks so nice. I'm so nervous. And my mom's not coming with me or anything. Like I'm going by myself. Wifey by Kim K. And I never wear makeup anymore, so. Oh. All right, come with me. Also, we're gonna come home and clean my freaking room because it's so messy. I was gonna do a video cleaning my room with me, but I literally just can't clean it all in one day. It's so pretty out. Yesterday, I went to the beach because the UV index was like six, but then it went down to two. Oh my God, my car's gonna be so cold. I don't want to sit in it. My car has so much sand in it. I went to the beach and it was just beautiful. And then at night I went back to the beach for a bonfire and it was so fun. Okay. I'm so cold. Okay, let's go. A few moments later. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and say um, a little kind of trigger warning slash cringe warning from this timestamp to this timestamp. I am crying very intensely and kind of just freaking out and having um, a little, I don't want to say panic attack or anxiety attack because I know that people have those a lot worse, but um, it felt really intense in the moment and looking back, it seems really dramatic and like, I don't know, just something I... I don't know, it's something I don't really want to put on the internet, but also I don't like excluding the bad parts of my life just because I feel like it's a way to stay authentic and real. And on social media, you don't see, you only see people's highlight reels. And this is definitely not my highlight reel. And it was just really painful. And I had a lot of paranoia going into it. So just keep that in mind if you're watching it. And if you don't want to watch it, then please just skip forward to this time. Thank you. in my bikini and so I got in there and I was just really uncomfortable because the lady like she didn't really talk to me she she was just like barely said any words and she wasn't really nice I had to take off my shirt like I'm just uncomfortable with my body so that was like one thing and then I lifted my arms up and she started doing my underarms and they still hurt like I don't think it's supposed to hurt that bad I literally don't understand how people do that it was the worst pain I think I've I have ever felt in my entire life. That was so painful. It just hurt so bad. And then she moved on to my legs and my legs are fine. They didn't hurt at all. So I don't care about that. But then, <laughs> and then for the bikini, I'm just doing like the bikini line, not like the full bikini, which I wish I was doing because I just don't want hair there. But also I feel like that would be the worst pain ever. And I do not want to do that. Literally that whole time I was like, I would just shave every day. Like I literally do not care that it hurts so bad. Sorry, I'm crying. I literally just can't stop. So anyways, everyone told me for the bikini line, like you can keep your like thong on. And so I did. And then she's like, oh, take those off. And I don't know why, but that just made me really uncomfortable. And I don't know. I felt like I like <laughs> say like anything and I wish I was there with my mom because I don't know I just would have been more comfortable I was just in a room with this random lady who I've never met it just hurt so bad <laughs> like I literally never want to do that again but I know I have to my arm is sore I just wish my mom was here I don't want to drive <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> I'm in class where's mom can you tell her to talk to me yeah, so even I don't know if she is I literally cannot move my arm I'm sorry to my um, past self, but this is so funny to laugh at. Um, so if you guys are laughing, I put funny music behind it to kind of counteract how like sad this actually was. Um, and now it's just really funny to me. So please laugh along. I 
feel like I'm gonna throw up. I literally might throw up. I'll update you guys. I just feel so uncomfortable. And I feel like I wanna throw up and I literally think like, I'm having trouble breathing. And I'm freaking out. I don't know why. I'm just in so much pain. Like my arms hurt so bad. Oh, so it's like when I'm in situations where like I feel like I need to cry but I can't. Like at work or at school or in that case in that room, like that lady just didn't like she didn't make me feel comfortable at all. Sorry for this freaking meltdown. And I know I'm lucky to have laser. Like I know it's like I should be grateful and all that. And I wish it was a one-time thing, but you have to go back so many times. I just wish it was like acceptable to like cry everywhere and like take breaks. I look so ugly. So I just got home. I didn't even know I had this on. I just got the Vente Ice Chai Tea Latte with oat milk. I don't know why I got a Vente. I was just trying to treat myself. Anyways. We're still gonna carry on through my day. I have work today. Money rough. It was so bad. Normally things don't hurt me. Or like, like when I got tattoos, my tattoos didn't hurt at all. My baby dog. My sister got me check a play. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm gonna get ready for work. I am so tired. Okay, I'm at work, I'm on my break, and I'm so tired. Hey guys, so I just got home and I had a couple snacks and now I'm gonna clean my room a little bit and then I'm gonna get ready to go to some mall group and hang out with Adia. Watch me clean my room. Okay, so now that I cleaned my room, actually not all of it's clean, just ignore that. I'm just going to do some makeup before I have to go. I don't have time to do full foundation, but I do look really pale. I'm just going to use some Vaseline on my lips. So instead of doing concealer, I'm actually just going to use my foundation and use it as a little bit of a concealer, but it's not. Just like, I'm just taking a tiny bit and just rubbing it under my eyes. Sorry, my family's fighting downstairs. See, just like... I don't know. I feel like it is better than using concealer because concealer is like way too light sometimes. Actually, actually, I don't even have a good concealer. I feel like I haven't sat down on a makeup video in so long, but that's because I barely even do my makeup anymore. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My family is so loud. I'm just taking a powder brush that doesn't really have anything on it. Just going over my face. Oh my god, they are just screaming. Next, I'm going to do a little cream blush. I'm going to try not to put too much on this time. Oh my god. I always put too much on. It looks like it's gonna be nothing. And then I end up looking like a clown. I literally have that much on. And then it just turns my whole entire cheek red. Oh god, that is so bad. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I literally just cannot make this better. Okay, it looks really bad on camera, but honestly, in person, you can barely tell. Okay. Now I'm just going to brush through my brows. My camera battery is dying. I'm so bothered. I really just want to live alone on a horse ranch. That is just my dream come true. I don't want to have anyone I know near me. Well, me and my four kids. And just just me and four kids. I always said that when I was younger. I literally want to be a single mom. So sometimes guys will add me on Snapchat and I don't add anybody back because I don't even use Snapchat anymore. Uh, <laughs> guys will add me on snapchat and i'll see that obviously and then i won't add them back because i don't add anybody back and so then they'll literally dm me after i have seen that they already added me on snapchat asking yo what's your snap and it's like i know you already added me on snapchat like you're just asking me that so i'm gonna try to add you back no this literally happens on a weekly basis and it's so annoying because it's like bro i don't want your attention i don't need it and you're just probably a gross man so no and then they'll be like oh what's your snap and i'll literally say it's in my bio because it is and i know that's where they got it the first time and then they'll add me and then they'll say i added you and i'm like yeah i know from a week ago already but and then i'm like okay i'll like it i love that feature on the instagram dms where you just like something that way you don't my camera died so i am just doing my makeup i honestly just need mascara and call it a day I never wear makeup anymore, so this is like honestly a lot to wear. Look at this mascara. It is the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara. You know what I miss? Why does TikTok not have any viral dances anymore? 
that used to be so fun like learning to dance and then doing it and then like you remember that like month of like oh that was like the popular dance back then there's been no viral dances like i literally don't even remember the last one also comment down below probably most of my viewers won't be doing this but someone convinced me to do march madness and i'm actually obsessed with it so um comment down below if you're doing that as well because it's actually really fun to like see if you're winning or not just gonna do some actually i literally can't even put on dinner right now because my armpits still hurt from this morning but i'll just put on a little wifey also i'm getting my nails on wednesday so don't mind that okay and i'm already see you <laughs> I'm going to meet a Dia for coffee. Even though I had some, but it's okay. Gosh. Okay. She's not crying anymore. Yeah. So we just got Starbucks. It's a new place we've never been to before. Never been. We're trying it. Should we try it? Uh, it's pretty good. I don't see yeah. why people go all the time or anything. I know. It's so weird. <laughs> I already went today, actually. I I'm gonna make a compilation, like on your birthday or something. Shut up. Of every time we've gone to Starbucks. We, like, need, a, a okay, we need to take... Oh, shoot. It's so many. We're buying products. I love Ulta. I need a, sh I need just like a sugar daddy to like supply me with tons of money to spend here. Yeah, I will. Okay, Ulta haul. I saw these in the little checkout thing and I needed them. They're like little face masks. So I did, oh my God, you got the one I told you. So she got this green tea sugar scrub. It looks really good. And then she got some tanning products. Oh! Anyway, we're doing church group small now. Um, I just said church group small now. Same exactly. Yeah, we're leaving small group, so. Hey guys, so I just got back to my house. Before small group, Adi and I usually meet for coffee and we'll just meet and then take one of our cars so we drive together. And I had left my car where we met to get coffee at Starbucks and my car is pretty noticeable. Um, a few days ago, we got like a weird message on our mailbox um with shrimp it was like it said to get this is to get you through the pandemic and it was like these shrimp on our mailbox it was really freaking creepy and weird so i got to my car and i started driving and then i had to pull over because i saw a note on my um my windshield wipers and last week i left a note on Adia's car like saying like a nice message i thought it, that that was it was her and so it was like one mint and this and it says this is to get you through the pandemic so naturally i was like oh my god this is the same person who did this in my mailbox i have a stalker like i was freaking out so i called my family and they were laughing because it was them they saw my st car at starbucks because my car is like noticeable it has like a custom thing on it and so yeah that was really rude and family if you're watching i did not like that that was really not fun i've already been paranoid today so i didn't appreciate that but yeah i'm gonna go inside and eat hey guys we're back at home in my room the lighting sucks um i'm just gonna start my nighttime routine i got all these new scents okay so i just read on the back that they're infused with cannabis sativa seed oil so is that like a drug um probably definitely not but so they're all hemp oil infused so i think that's what the sativa whatever it is okay so I just put a few drops into my diffuser i do this every night the sound of it puts me to sleep which is good so it's funny when i did my when i cleaned my room i only cleaned half of it the other half is still a mess oh also i had a discovery today so adia told me that she has heard that laser hurts more when you're on your period and i was like well i'm not on my period i checked my app i'm getting it tomorrow and i actually think i got it right now that could be why it hurt more and why i was so emotional today um i was just freaking out i mean as you guys saw but that could be a reason why because um i'm on my period and i have just been overly emotional and paranoid okay so i'm going to use sorry the lighting is so oh i should have my ring light okay so i'm just gonna do my face mask and i know it looks super pale but i think it's just the lighting so i'm gonna use this one wait this one smells super good I'm gonna use the orange one, but I think I'm gonna do the charcoal just on my nose because it's like charcoal is good for like pores and stuff. Oh my god, it's super thick. Look at that. Oh my god, this smells super good. My pores focus mostly around my nose and on my chin. I'm just gonna do the rest of it the citrus, which is clear. Okay, and then I'm also gonna put on a little lip mask. I'm gonna floss. 
Hey guys, well I was gonna edit, but I can't edit and read at the same time. I've been trying to dive in to reading, but these are like book slash journals. So like each chapter you journal about what you learned in the chapter. These books are actually in a series. Um, there's three of them. They're just like self-help kind of mindset journals, but it's a book, but also a journal. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit and journal and read a chapter. Wow, that was a really good page. Um, it's basically talking about potential. You take back your power when you realize that you should never find yourself fighting for a tomorrow with someone who isn't even right for today. If you were to get out of your head and stop thinking about what could be instead of focusing on what is for a minute, what would happen? You should never find yourself in a relationship where the only thing you have guiding you is the belief in tomorrow's potential. Also, I put my retainer in, so that's why I'm kind of talking with the list. I wish I read this when I was in my last relationship because I feel like I wouldn't have been in it as long as I was. This is so good. Don't remain stuck in a cycle of thinking defined by asking yourself, will he or she make me happy instead of does he or she make you happy? Don't be blindsided by potential. Hear that, Julia? See who that person is right now instead of who they might become. Wow. Okay, I think it might be time. Wow, that all came off at once. Okay, so now I'm just putting on my vitamin C serum and my niacinamide. Vitamin C serum literally makes your skin so soft. Okay, and now for the rest of my night, I will pretty much just edit or watch YouTube. Um, I have to edit a project I'm working on. No, I need to write a script for the interview of the project I'm working on, but it's just gonna like be so long and I don't feel like doing that. Even though during the day when I'm at work, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna do that the second I get home. And then time passes and I don't feel like doing it anymore. But it is something I wanna do, just like at the moment. I think I'm just gonna watch YouTube instead of working for YouTube. Well, I am filming a video right now, so kind of being productive. Oh, I guess this is the end of my day. There's a show on HBO called Generation that I wanna finish watching. So that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found any part of my day interesting. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do a vlog because, I don't know. Comment down below what videos you guys want. I need to do a makeup tutorial. I haven't done a makeup tutorial since. This channel is literally advice, fashion, vlogs, and beauty. And I haven't done anything related to beauty except for my skincare stuff, I guess. Also, if you guys have noticed, I have two extra YouTube channels that I'm going to start secretly posting on. Face 2 and Face Productions. That will be a really interesting channel and it doesn't have any videos. I'll show you guys it. Please subscribe. It's in the works. All right, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.